to you. It must be 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time somewhere out there because it's time for another Hardison's Tip. I'm your host, Brandon Hardison, President of Champion Strategies, and we're with you because for all of our brothers and sisters in the sales vertical, whether it's major account, key account, up and down the street, in-home sales, regular retail, or automotive, we try to give you something that's out there. So on this beautiful Thursday, the 23rd day of September of 2021, you're trying to get to work. So let's get right to it. We're still sticking with the automotive industry for today. And the question is how to sell techniques for a maximum profit. Your processes. Car sales for 2021 are almost twice that of the previous year. And uh, somewhere around 17 and a half units are estimated to be sold this year. Now, it is a rebound from last year because of the COVID and so many other state and federal mandates that were out there where it forced us still in a pre-crisis mode of taking orders, but we'll get through it. And no matter when it does happen, we need to be ready to work with the customers again, because right now, many of us are fortunate that we're just taking orders. We've abandoned our processes. In other words, many of us are coming in with no plan and hope is not a strategy. So if you do have processes in these times, keep working your people on the processes. By doing this, we maximize this current time that we're in. If we do that at each and every lot across America, Dealers will be happy. Consumers will be happy. So let's go back to what we said previously. We still must be hiring and retaining top talent. That's one of the most critical parts of any successful business. But even great salespeople can have bad days or a bad week. New hires, new employees also need help as they must learn from experience. No one comes to work every day to fail, but every salesperson needs help sometimes. That's why good managers manage by walking around, especially with their new people. That's why good managers when they have new people, have daily one-on-ones to find out how they're doing, what you can do to help them to get to that barrier. Just don't throw them out to the wolves. Don't throw them out to the general team because you know they will be approached by those negative people who just want to broom them out of the dealership because they feel that's one more up for me. But in most cases, the only person standing in their way is them. Customers will continue to contact dealerships in their own method and own ways. But if they're not buying, nobody wins. So very back to the basic simple car sales tips can help you sell folks and find a way to keep that stride going. If you do not have a digital contactless customer delivery service, you need to start thinking of one. That is the way of the future. The baby boomers are not controlling this anymore. The younger generation operates and wants to be treated a lot differently than what you, I, your uncle, your fathers, your grandparents used to. So what do we need to do? Knowledge. Knowledge. 
knowledge. It makes a powerful sale. Salespeople do not have to be walking people through owner's manuals to sell a car, nor do they need to know the profit and loss details at your dealership. But they do need a little of both. Most salespeople should understand their business and how it can grow. For a car salesperson, understanding the profit is how they learn to increase their paychecks. Also, full knowledge of inventory helps them get the customer the right vehicle. Some customers stop by price, and that's good if they're shopping by price. And the ability for them is over several options. That's what they're looking for when it comes to a vehicle. Some shoppers do their homework well in advance, and you know that. And they will come with current prices, and many times they know more than the salesperson that they're engaged with. So the best way of getting through these times right now is this. First of all, let's admit the common mistake for both newbies and old salt dogs. It's talking when they should be listening. The one truth about every customer or every human being is they love to talk about themselves. When we have an invitation to consult, to find out their pain, their problems, what they're trying to achieve with themselves, their family, the vehicle for work, the vehicle for recreation, it's a salesperson's job to listen. The more they know about the customer, the more they'll be able to access the proper needs not only with the vehicle, but with the other team members at the dealership, like the finance manager, like the used car manager. All of these things can be done if we make the salespeople speak about the processes, not about the features and the benefits. If you go to the features and the benefits, customers are seeing the same show that they see everywhere else. So if you do not have an early managerial introduction, think about putting that in right after the welcome. If your salespeople spending time with the guest are not recapping so the customer can listen and hear that you were hearing, remember the old adage, buyers don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And then work as a team by going back to the desk and explain to the used car manager, the new car manager, and yes, your finance manager. If your finance manager is not in their office conducting business, they need to be at the tower. They also can be listening. If we do this, I guarantee you will land the customer on the right vehicle the first time and all this other craziness that goes on in other dealerships, your customers will not see. Once again, Brandon Hardison, president of Champion Strategies with another Hardison's tip on this beautiful Thursday, the 23rd of September, 2021. And as always in parting, you go out and you make it a champion day.